Hey everyone, History Mystery Man here coming to you today from Flat Rock, Michigan, Flat Rock Speedway since 1953. That's how long this awesome little semi-bank quarter mile paved oval has been here celebrating their 70th season of competition. This track has a rich history. Joy Fair won multiple track championships here. Joe Rutman cut his teeth here. Danny Bird, the list goes on and on tonight. It's the Stan Yee Memorial 150 laps for the Super Outlaw Late Model Cars. It's going to be so cool. This place has such a great history. NASCAR actually sanctioned this track at one time. Lee Petty won a NASCAR sanctioned stock car race here back in the 1950s. Really cool. Anyway, thought I'd give you something a little bit different tonight. Let the dirt and dust settle a little bit. Give you some good old fashioned pavement racing. I love me some pavement racing. This is actually the first rubberized pavement track ever built in 1953. And if you go back that far, back then most of the tracks were dirt tracks at the county fairgrounds. There weren't a lot of pavement tracks, but this one, Flat Rock Speedway, born as a pavement track back in 1953. Happy 70th anniversary season. Welcome to Flat Rock Speedway. History Mystery Man on duty at your service. Let's go check it out. Eric Lee, you are a second generation driver, yeah? Your dad, Steve? Correct, yeah. Actually, third generation. Third dad, generation. Yeah, my, my dad's father used to race a little bit, too. Really? Yeah. Where at? Uh, he ra he actually raced at Mount Cummins, too. Wow. And he raced dirt before that. So. Yeah, yeah. That's really, uh, Now, where are you from? I'm from uh, Mount Clemens uh, area. Macomb is where I live now. Okay. Grew up Ooh. in Clinton Township. I got you. What do you do for a living? I work for uh, Ford Motor Company. I'm a manager at Ford. Yeah. I'm currently working on the new uh, EV stuff, the new uh, Lightning powertrain. So I'm building the motors for the, the new Lightning. Yeah, all, all electric. Wow. Are you seeing a major league transition in the industry you're in right yeah. now? Yeah, I've been there uh, about 20, almost 24 years now. And um, our facility I'm at, I'm at is about 75% electric. So we're doing a ton of electric motors, uh, building um, stators, rotors. Um, everything are just it, totally is, totally changing the powertrain of, the, of these vehicles. Is, is the writing on the wall for motorsports? I mean, I mean, I, mean, I think it's going to get there eventually. These, these, yeah. these new uh, electric motors are so powerful. They got so much torque. You can make just unlimited horsepower with them. Yeah, yeah. And, and there, there's so many less uh, components that end up break too. So it's it's going to be interesting. So how do you like driving these uh, outlaw late model cars? 
I enjoy it. Yeah, Outlaw, uh, I race uh, quite a bit of um, some template stuff, some CRA and some Jags, yeah. and I, I still like the Outlaw the best. Yeah. yeah it's, it's got more, got more downforce, down uh, got more power. Um, it's just more fun to drive. And, and, and less restricted, yeah. I mean, you're not putting a long template over the car. You can right. do a lot more with them, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The body is, uh, we got a lot of rules, but um, the rules they give us, you can, you can work with them, so. Yeah, and you are a uh, former uh, track champion here at Flat Rock Speedway? Yep. How yeah. many? I've had uh, five track champions. Here. Really? Yeah. Five track championships. And have you ever won the Stan Yee Memorial, the race tonight? I have, yeah. It's, it's been a while, so. Been a while? But I have won it before, yeah. How hard is it to win a race here at Flat Rock? It seems it, pretty challenging to Yeah, me. it's tough. There's, uh, every week there's several competitors. We're also equal, um, so it's it's a challenge. Yeah, we've yeah. been we've been, had a really good year. We've won three features this year. So uh, we're off to a really good start, but uh, every week it's tough. There's so many, so much good competition out here. We all pretty much have the same equipment, same cars now, which makes it uh, makes it challenging. What what, do you, what most of you guys run a Seneca car? Yeah, most of us all drive uh, Seneca cars with you know pretty much very similar setups. So I watch you guys here. You're hauling ass. You're on a tight little quarter mile semi banked. You never straighten up. You're no. always turning. Yep. And now you're going to go 150 miles or 150 laps. I'm sorry tonight. Don't you get you get tired? Uh, you get a little winded out there. But, well, I mean, your arms get tired. Yeah, your uh, the adrenaline keeps you going out there. But uh, yeah, at the end of the race, you're you're pretty wore out. Yeah, especially yeah. in this heat, it's pretty hot today. So. It, it is hot. All right. Well, hey, thanks for taking some time with me. I appreciate you, and I'm gonna wish you all the best here tonight. All right, I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you, Eric.
I'll find it. Somebody will post it. Can't never tell the ice that far. <laughs> Dennis, how you feeling? I'm tired already. What? <laughs> I just know what's coming, that's all. Oh, 150 rounds on a tight little bull ring. You got a good car today? Pretty good. Yeah. A little bit tight. Late, ap late apex tight, but we made some adjustments. We'll see what happens. Can you win tonight? Are you feeling that good? Oh, you never know what can happen. Yeah, okay. Especially a hot day and long race. I, I guess we can't pr predict the future, can we? <laughs> no, no. But we'll give it our best. One win here in 2022. Are good tonight? Are you happy where you're at? Uh, I think it'll be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We uh, change a few things on it, so hopefully it'll it'll, it'll make it good for the long run. This is good run low, but not that.
now uh, we, we've met down here, and I'm, I'm getting around it. You know, running out of things to ask you. Did you uh, once again? Did you plan on getting out front that early? Uh, no, that really wasn't the plan. Um, the plan was kind of ride and save tires, and we, you know, we kind of got lucky there early in the race and, and picked off a few, a few cars on the bottom, and didn't really have to try so hard, and that, that helped a ton. And then, you know, Eric Eric Lee is tough here, man. <laughs> So I pushed him pretty hard trying to trying to get him to use his stuff up there and it really wasn't working for me. So then I, when we got that restart, I was like, I gotta go now as hard as I can to see if I can get the lead and then maintain it from there. Actually, I have I have very bad luck on the west side of the state and all these big races. And I come over here and, and, and we'd run really well. So uh, I'd like to take some of this and go back to the west side and win some big races, but we haven't been that lucky yet. We uh, felt like the car was really, really good for about 75 laps and then I lost uh, lost some turn and it started getting real tight about the second half of the race. So. Uh, I can't complain. Second place, uh, you know, good strong finish. They had a great year, so we uh, did a lot of work this this week. Had a lot of a lot of things we had to change on the car. Found them to, um, had to pull the whole rear end out, rebuild it. So uh, a lot of work, and just glad everything uh, stuck together this week. Half yeah. the race were a little bit closer, but um, I started my right front started going away, and then, uh, I was struggling. Doing. I'm doing all right. Good. Hey, can I have one piece of pizza? One piece of pizza? Yes, sir. Yeah.